guys, it's Callum here. Uh, this is going to be the first episode in my much anticipated Slayer series. Now, um, in the series, I hope to achieve 99 Slayer. Uh, just ignore that uh, there. Um, I hope to achieve 99 Slayer. And um, basically, uh, today I did actually get two Slayer, slayer levels up by doing the uh, brand new, uh, brand new Grandmaster quest, the World Wags. And believe me. That is the best quest you will ever do. That is absolutely amazing, breathtaking, truly stunning. And I'm not going to say anything else because I don't want to wreck it for you guys. But yeah, this is going to be the start uh, where I try and achieve 99 Slayer. And basically every uh, like five levels I will be selling my loot tab to basically keep my bank spaces free. And um, then I'll add up total wealth at the end once I reach 99 Slayer and see how much you can roughly make. Because it's not going to be fully accurate but we'll see anyway guys. Anyway, uh, basically throughout the series, I'm just going to be doing my tasks, recording the start and the end of the task, me getting new tasks, and just talking about some stuff on my mind. Now, uh, this will probably be a weekly episode, same as Epic Noob Adventures, and same as my uh, um, other series, once I release it, it's not going to happen yet, and so temporarily this is just going to be called Slayer Series. So, enjoy guys, I suppose, and I suppose we really, really get, get a task. So... Let's contact up oh, Curadel and see what she has to say to us. In before jab task. Hello. Right, and yep, 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 whatever. I need another assignment. And War Fiends. You know what? I couldn't have asked for a better task. Gets me defense XP. Awesome charms. And a brilliant way to start a series, to be honest. So, sorted, guys. Uh, I'm gonna gear up and head to Water Fiends, and I will see you guys there. Right then, guys, we're here at Water Fiends, and so we're just gonna start a task and just do uh, chill down with some uh, casual Slayer. Now uh, I thought I'd talk to you guys about my weekend and stuff like that, and uh, just probably chill down, and, like get to know you guys. Look, well, so you guys can get to know me a little bit more at least. And uh, just in case you're wondering, uh, I am gaining double experience at the moment from my pause that I've got on and sorry if you guys can hear that it's my uh, friend Jess who's just messaging me at the moment and uh, yeah I've got 51% left on my hate pause so I thought I might as well use them and so yes yeah, pretty good guys and um, so yeah basically um, some of you may know Will and Hayden from uh, the Epic Noob Adventure series that I do on my channel as well and um, basically uh, at the weekend we went up at uh, this uh, shopping centre called Mirror Hill and um, we uh, went t to see the new Die Hard film and to be honest I was pretty disappointed like the other Die Hard films were pretty good and you get some solid action it's a good storyline you can follow everything like that but like w with this new one it's just all sort of like chucked in there randomly and it's all a bit like weird to be honest and I found the film was really short and just a little bit boring to be honest so I didn't really enjoy it that much except um, before that we went for pizza a pizza hut and we sat down uh, had a meal that and I've got to say the waitress we had was so fit that she she was like she 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 looked about twenty to be honest and um, basically she, she was wearing like a low cut top like a uniform but she had like all her buttons undone so you could see pretty much everything and um, it's pretty nice to be fair she just like gets smiling at us and everything else you know as a friendly waitress does so we left her a nice tip at the end just since uh, she gave us something to stare at while we were eating our didn't like and um yes yeah, so i actually recorded a video of it and i was thinking of uploading it but i wasn't really sure because um we ended up uh, having a little bit of a um mess about and um ended up slapping will around the face with a piece of pizza and i actually recorded it on my iphone and um so yeah we were just chilling there having a bit of fun um after that we had a little walk around the shopping center and um had a little look in game and um i was like trying to figure out why the static on my mic was coming through and so I hopefully I think I fi managed to fix it last night and um, so it's uh, all okay for this video and the audio quality is not terrible as I know it has been in most of my vids which is sort of why I'm reluctant to do too much talking for too long at the moment but hopefully I fixed it for this series and so it's all bearable for you guys and it's all nice and good and stuff so yeah but, um, yeah we had a little walk around he looked in the HMV and stuff um, I think uh, Will was actually looking for some um, game catcher devices so he can record um, game 
at games on the Xbox, which is like Assassin's Creed and Halo and all that. Because um, I know he wants to start a channel soon. I think he might start doing RuneScape videos and boom, clue, hard clue scroll, epic. I right, I'll do that uh, at the end of the video. But um, yeah, he wanted the game catcher device for um. Uh, the Xbox so we can start recording so I think he's going to start making RuneScape videos soon as well so uh, in the Epic Noob Adventure series I will begin to link his channel and um, basically yeah it's um, he wanted to be able to do that because he thought that would be quite a cool idea and twice so, uh, it was a cool idea except that, uh, we actually went into game and HMV and unfortunately they didn't have anything so it looks like we're going to have to buy something off Amazon if he does want to follow that up which should be pretty cool to be honest uh, give us um something else to watch and uh, be pretty entertaining yeah as well you can like see what I'm going through with making the videos and stuff and uh, see how much effort does actually go into it because uh, I'm not sure if he actually believes how much uh, time it does take to do these things except um, yeah it's just uh, apart from that I had a pretty lazy weekend stayed in bed like uh, till like I don't know like I, th I think the latest stayed in bed all weekend I had a bit of a lazy one um, was I think I stayed in bed till about one and I was just like, I really couldn't be bothered to get up, so I just like had that bit of a lazy one and just lay there and just like really just couldn't be bothered. And uh, when I got up, I stopped on a bit of RuneScape and did some bits and bobs. But um, yeah, I had a pretty good weekend to be honest. Um, I had a maths exam today and um, it was calculator paper and uh, I'm feeling alright about it because um, I had one on Thursday, I think it was as well, and that went like. I was in there, I was pretty confident, I got everything pretty decently and I was pretty happy with that, except this one I was a little bit less confident because I didn't feel quite as good about it. Yeah, it's pretty alright, so I've had a pretty decent week so far I suppose. And um, the world wakes today, I've literally been looking forward to the release of this update for about three or four weeks now and oh, it was it lived up to everything and for those of you who haven't actually done the question, I'm not going to spoil it, but um, I've uh, I've always been like this is quite nerdy. This is gonna sound, but uh, I've always actually been like a follower of like Gothics, and ever since like I first started playing RuneScape, even when, even when I was a noob, I was always like looked at Gothics to be like the main one. Uh, I, I remember watching the Tech Noobs show and like them making him look like a noob and stuff. But I always still liked him anyway. And um, in this quest, like it confirmed everything I'd like ever thought about him and how he was like the main powerful god and all that kind of stuff and it's absolutely awesome it reveals how he gets his power and um what he actually looks like and uh, it looks like and he's actually massive he's bigger than the qbd as well and um fortunately something happens to him but i'm not going to say anything that's probably a spoiler alert right there but um yeah the uh, xp rewards on the quest are also immense i think you get like three um xp lamps which give you 150k in um certain skills of like level 70 something then you get like another three to use on any combat skills and then you get like i think th another three to um use on any um skill and they're all 100k xp lamps and um if you've done all the qu quests uh, ritual of majorat firemaker's curse branches of dark Maya, void stairs back and chosen commander you can claim the title and then um, access to those uh like little autobot things <laughs> Autobot, um, they're actually in there defending Guthix while he was asleep, and um, they're actually uh, dropped the new gloves, which are, I believe, the equivalent of um, the uh, Glacier boots, um, basically for gloves. Uh, gloves. So um, I know also they can be set as a Slayer task, which is pretty cool, and so uh, I'll probably strive to get those quests done, uh, and so I can start getting them and possibly getting some good loot as well. But no doubt, for the, the next week they're going to absolutely be rammed. Except um, Danny, he was actually uh, uh, there earlier for about three hours, and he didn't manage to get a single glove drop. So uh, it looks like they are pretty rare. Except um, I know they're quite high priced at the moment. I'm not exactly sure how much, but I just know they're really high. And um, I am just died because he's a noob. But nah, I must have died like six times in a row on the quest because uh, there's like a fireball part and. Um, like, I literally walked in the room, like, three times, I just died straight away, I was like, what the hell, how the hell are you meant to do this? In the end, I just bolted for it, and I uh, made it through, which was, um, pretty good, and, um, yeah, it's pretty fun, guys, so, uh, I'll, um, finish up with this task, and then I'll talk to you guys when I go to get my next task, so, uh, yeah.